uh, Sapiens Decision is a wholly managed subsidiary out of the Sapiens parent company. Sapiens, the, the overall international company is 1,700 employees. Uh, our subsidiary is just over 120 employees. Uh, we focus on um, software solution, software platform, and um, uh, a methodology that we developed uh, essentially a science uh, around um, managing the business logic in uh, applications. Um, applications primarily for um, complex processes such as lending applications, uh, insurance applications, uh, underwriting um, uh, loans that are uh, around mortgages, um, and, uh, and now moving into government and healthcare industries as well. We plan to expand into other industries um, in the near future also. Uh, we began uh, through the invention of something called the decision model, which is a, um, a science for structuring bis business logic uh, in a way that parallels the evolution of the structuring of uh, data and information in what was called or what is called the relational model for data or relational database management systems. Uh, we believe that um, business logic uh, lends itself in many situations to being structured in a way that it can be managed by the business and implemented into applications through a code generating model. Uh, so we use the model as a vehicle to structure the business logic, uh, to apply uh, rigorous principles and testing to validate that the structure uh, and this logic um, makes sense and is complete uh, and is thorough and, and truly represents what the business intent is. Whether or not that business intent is from uh, a, um, a policy or a regulation. Um, for example, Basel III is a, uh, is a regulation that applies to major banking institutions. Uh, one element of Basel III is uh, the degree of liquidity that a bank must have uh, in, um, under management uh, so that, for example, uh, there's not a run on the bank and they find themselves without the appropriate capital to address their lenders, uh, or I should say their investors. Um, how they implement this Basel III regulation uh, around liquidity reporting is very complex. Uh, and to ensure that that regulation gets, a, gets implemented uh, and executed in applications across the bank, uh, they, many banks use uh, uh, the, the concept of decision management or decision modeling uh, of this business logic in order to uh, ensure the thoroughness and the completeness of um, implementing these types of regulations. Uh, so that's where we began. Uh, that's where we've been focused and um, in, in fact we actually began uh, after we published the book uh, in uh, 2010 called The Decision Model, uh, Freddie Mac coming out of the 2008 um, uh, uh, financial crisis recognized the value of structuring business logic in order to uh, more quickly address the needs of their uh, stakeholders. Um, for example, their ability to address uh, Hurricane Sandy in the U.S. Uh, and deliver loans out to hurricane victims um, increased by 90 percent by using the, the benefits of structuring logic, lending logic in this case for mortgages, in a way that allowed them 
to address changes and regulatory requirements related to this hurricane. And they were able to do that 90% faster than in previous uh, disasters, for example, in Katrina just a few years earlier, using the concepts of structuring business logic. And with Freddie, we developed our software platform, and um, since 2012, we've been offering that to the general market. It starts with the business, and in fact, for many years, the business has created what's called a business requirements document, a BRD, to give to IT to write an application that represents the intent of the business in a codified way to automate processes and streamline work, reduce costs, remove headcount many times, repurpose headcount so that the banks or the insurance companies or these large organizations can be more effective. So it starts there. What we do, our application, begins with a modeling tool that allows business users, business analysts generally, to take these requirements and put them in a model that's easily understood. And the model is, um, uh, the, the tool allows the model to be created to drive towards a, a business conclusion, um, in a sense a business decision, approve the loan, um, renew the policy, admit the student for an education situation. Um, and then the model structures the, all the various conditions that drive to that conclusion through the tool by the business analysts. Once the model is structured and the drill, in, the, the drill down creates rule families and various decision tables that then map to fact types, data, that support these, uh, these decisions. And once that model is created, then we're able to um, run the model through rigorous testing to verify that this logic has been structured. And the tool will do that with the help of the business user creating parameters on what that logic should do. For example, age ranges between 0 and 21 or 21 and 25 and 25 and 30. Maybe it's between 25 and 30 and greater than 30. Well, what if the age is exactly 30 and the business user didn't put in that particular parameter of exactly 30 years old? Our software will determine that that's a gap in the logic and return an error. And the strength of the tool is that it can identify those gaps and overlaps in logic and this is a big challenge in the market today, being able to identify or to verify that the business logic is thorough and complete before it's executed. So our model does that, the tooling does that, the verification does that, and then test cases can be run by the business user. Once the model is complete and thorough, then we can convert that model into executable code, either Java uh, or directly to XML, or through various adapters, um, we can execute in common business rule execution environments such as Red Hat's J rules, um, or Red Hat's Drools product, excuse me, uh, IBM's ODM, the former iLog product, um, uh, Fair Isaac, and, and, and others as well. Plus, we offer an SDK, uh, a solution development kit, to create your own adapter. Additionally, we offer our own engine. Uh, it's not our strategic objective to, um, uh, to, to be an engine provider, but we do offer that, and many of our customers use both our engine and the engines of other common rules providers, depending on what their deployment objectives are. Now, a key element of the overall suite, and it's called the Sapiens Decision Suite, uh, is 
mapping the business logic to the core data. And we do that through a glossary that the business user defines and that glossary can then map to the data objects. And that is a very straightforward mapping and a through a very powerful tool we have called Decision Info Hub. And Info Hub provides both the uh, glossary mapping to create what we call a logical unit. Uh, that logical unit is the, the core entity that the model will call in an execution um, runtime environment to actually um, persist the logic into an application all the way down to the to the data layer. But what's unique about InfoHub is that it persists only the logic that's really required, not the entire data warehouse or data mart. Um, so InfoHub provides the logical unit, it provides ETL, so general extract, transform, and, and loading integration capabilities. It provides synchronization, in, incredibly powerful synchronization, so that only the data that's required at that particular time in memory is persisted. And through various synchronization methodologies, we can ensure that performance is sustained.